Solo Scrooge, sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. Hope everyone's well. Appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. It's Saturday, 6th of May, 10.50 a.m. UTC. I'm Solo Scrooge, and I'm in London, England. That's the UK. Quick update for us today, my people. I'm going to run over this one quickly. I'm going to go to the gym, sauna and steam, and maybe a swim today. Health is wealth, my people. So, Corium retweeted a tweet from Uphold. Corium airdrop update. Eligible Uphold users have received Corium tokens from the Corium official airdrop. This is the first of our four distribution rounds, so expect more Corium in the coming months. So for those of you that bought Corium on Uphold, the first airdrop has been distributed. We've also got Chris King, who is digital marketing specialist at Sologenic. She, she tweeted, with Real Sologenics IDEO Launchpad coming soon, users will now be able to increase visibility and incentivize investors for their projects. Stay tuned for the IDEO, for when the IDEO officially goes live. Let's see what she's saying. Sologenics IDEO Launchpad is going live very soon, so let's do a little basic overview. An IDEO Launchpad is a platform that helps new crypto projects launch their tokens to the public and raise funding. It stands for Initial Dex Offering. This means that projects can raise funds directly from users on the blockchain without an intermediary. The neat thing about IDEOs is that everyone can come and buy tokens, so it's a fair way for new companies to get the support that they need. And because everything is recorded on the blockchain, anyone and everyone can see all the transactions so that it's the most honest and transparent. Stay tuned for when the Solo IDEO Launchpad goes live. So Shout out to you, Chris King. We appreciate all the work you're doing behind the scenes. So let's take a quick run over the Corium chart. Have a look at where we are, where we stand. So as I was saying before, my people, we had a symmetrical triangle. And I said if we broke to the downside of it and it stays true to the pattern, then we had a target of around the 20, the 20 cents, 25.5. As it stands, Sologenic broke out of the symmetrical triangle. Not only did we break out of the symmetrical triangle, we broke the 23 cent support. But we came down to our uptrending blue line. That's been an uptrending blue line since, since September. We had one bounce off it. Another one. Came down below it a little bit to our 20 cent, 22 cent support. Back up to the 23 Came over the 23, couldn't hold it, came back down over the 23 again. Couldn't hold it, came back down. Pushed up over the 23 cents again. Still couldn't hold it properly, came back down to our blue uptrending line. That's been our uptrending line since September. Had a push off it, broke through the 23 cents. As we can see, broke through the 23 cents came up we basically if you know we basically we basically bypassed the symmetrical triangle even though we still broke through the lines if you extend the lines out if we extended the lines out the, the support and resistance lines we would have broke through them but we basically if this was a car we did a u-turn came back went the long way and I've tried to bypass it, just my interpretation, <laughs> my people, but yeah. So we broke through the 2447 cents, broke through the 25, 26 cents, couldn't make it up all the way up to, to, to the 26 cents, 2608. So now we've come down, 
we've come down back through the support of the 2526, back through the support of the 2447. And now we're back in the range using the 2447 as resistance. And our next support is the 23 cents. So we're back in the, basically between the 23 cents and the 2447 range. If we take a look at the RSI and the RSI in the one hour, we're overbought. We're coming back down to the 50 line. If we take a look at the four hour, we're overbought. We're coming back down. If we take a look in the daily, we had um, a notification at the 32 cents on the RSI to let us know if we broke that. We've broken through it. And so our next resistance on the RSI is at the 45. It's at the 45. Then we have the 50. So what we need to do, we need to see, are we going to make it up to the 45 on the RSI where this orange line is? And are we going to, if we do make it up there, are we going to break through it to push through to test the 50? Or are we going to get rejected? We'll have to take a look at that. If we break through the orange line, make it to the 50. If we break through the 50, then we could be going on a run. But I'll put an alert there to let us know. Actually, let's put an alert there as well to let us know if we break through the 50. So, so Corium, as it stands, my people, Corium sitting at 24 cents, up 5% on the day. Our levels, 23 cents at support. Then anywhere on this blue line, which can be, which can be anywhere from 22.31 to 22.42. If we break beneath that, next support, 22 cents, 22.02, then 21.47, then the 25.5. Our upper resistance is 24.47, 25.26, 26.03, 26.04, 26.05. Seven seven, then the twenty nine six nine. So that's the levels that we've we've got for Korea, my people. Write down those levels. If you plan to buy or sell, whatever your plans are. Me, I'm holding Korean for the long term. Let's take a look at Sologenic. Take a look at Solo. Take a look on the solo on the four hour. So solo genic. Solo genic. Our support is twelve seven three three one. If we fall beneath that, we've got a lower support at eleven eight eight one four. Eleven eight eight one four. Then after that, we don't have much. There's nothing left on the chart. If we fall below below the eleven eight eight, we don't have any more data left on the chart. But if this is a bear flag playing out, then we can take it from here, as I've been saying. But as it stands, we have to see how it plays out. Because we still have some room left here. 
you know, we still have room left to manoeuvre. And this blue line, let's take a look quickly, my people. Oops. This blue line, we can see has been downtrending resistance since April 2022. Resistance, 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 resistance. So if we come to this blue line, we'll take a look at that. Is it going to be a resistance or will we make a breakout? Let's take a look, take a look at the other solo genetic chart that I have with my people. This is a quick update. What the gym and sauna to go to today. You know, when I'm in the sauna, I can get a peace of mind. It's like meditation for me, my people. <laughs> it's like meditation so sologenic on this chart take a look in the one hour our next support is the 12.726 right now sologenic is down 1% 1.22% on the day sitting at 12.947 our next support is at the 12726 upper resistance at the 13130 then we have the 13451 then we have a 136 we have a 136 then the 139 and the 14201 ultimately the old sologenic if we want to get bullish, if Solo wants to get bullish, then we need to make it back up to this white line. As I've been saying for a while, we need to make it back up to this white line. Take a look, my people. Yeah, let's get it here. Let's make it a bit bigger. We need to get back over this white line. And then can continue a trend you know support resistance support resistance support resistance we fell beneath the support so we need to get back up here and try to push past the 16 cents mark to make another run for resistance or can we break it back to support resistance support resistance so my people, I appreciate you all. Quick run through on the Saturday morning. I'm Solo Screws with the Solo News. Do me a favor, hit the likes button, hit the subscribe button if you got anything out of this update. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.